Hello all, hope you are doing great. I am Sampath. Today I am going to show you how to collect targeted investors information for your business. For example, if you are looking for investment companies who already invested into particular industry like uh, e-commerce, edtech or SaaS or pharma or anything like this, we can have a chance to collect that kind of company's information along with that company decision makers information also. If you can watch this video up to end, you might have a chance to understand how to collect all this information using crunchbase.com, using LinkedIn, and using email finding tools. We are going to collect all this information. Or if you want me to collect all this information, if you want me to provide you your targeted investors list, you can directly reach out to me. I will provide you uh, investors information based on your target, based on your target industry or based on your target location or anything like this. So I have built a lot of investors information. So if you want, I can also build your uh, targeted investors information. Not only investors information, if you are looking for any kind of B2B decision makers information, uh, B2B uh, information based on job roles, industry, location, or employee size, or local business data, or like uh, uh, technology based information, or like social media influences information, that to particular followers count, follower uh, needs, uh, particular location, I can provide you all kind of information. Or if you are looking for Instagram competitors, profiles, public email ID or phone number scrapping or hashtag based email ID under phone number scrapping, public ones, you can directly reach out to me. I will provide you all kind of B2B data and web scrapping services. You can directly message me through WhatsApp or other social media accounts. Let us jump into the process. First, crunch base. We need Crunchbase Pro access for accessing all this kind of information. See, Crunchbase is a very, very good website for accessing data. So already I have subscribed with Crunchbase Pro. We need Crunchbase Pro for accessing all this information. For example, I'm going to click investors. So we need investors in particular location, in particular industry. So I'm going to show you how we have a chance to collect all this information. So for example, here we can have a chance to see all the filters. See what we need is, we need particular industry information. For example, here investments. We need people who are invested in uh, SaaS companies, for example. SaaS, okay. Then we need uh, investors who are located into a particular country. For example, United Kingdom, okay? So I'm just selecting here United Kingdom, okay? So once we select here, not US, UK. So once we select here UK, then we can have a chance to see investment firms which are located in UK. Now we have a chance to see here uh, almost 1,111. So here we can have a chance to uh, broad select here. For example, whether we need venture capitalist or individual investors or anything like this, we can have a chance to uh, select that type of information also. So now we can have a chance to see here companies information. See here, I customize it here, whatever the information I need, here we can have a chance to customize. I click edited. I edited all this information and I have customized whatever the information I need. So now what I'm going to do is first I'm collecting this company's information, investment company's information. I'm selecting all. We can have a chance to select here up to thousand. So we can have a chance to select here only company's information, not individuals or any decision makers information. We can't download those information here. So now what I'm doing is I'm exporting this list. Once I export this list, we can have a chance to see like this. So we can have a chance to see organization name, uh, how, many, how many investments they are already invested, location, investment company location, description, industries, number of employees, all this information with comp uh, company uh, office email ID, company office number, uh, founded date, all this information we can have a chance to see here. Now we have investment company's information. Now we need to find out this company decision makers information like uh, 
Suppose if you can send email IDs to that company email ID, maybe they will ignore. But if we are going to send directly decision maker email ID, decision maker, that impact will be different. That impact will be more actually. So what we are going to do is, so here I'm just collecting these companies decision makers information. Uh, we need, what we need is like, uh, for example, investor's name. Investor name. Uh, his job title. Uh, job title and LinkedIn URL. And we need email ID. Verified email ID we require. Uh, now what we are going to do is, so first here we have a chance to see company LinkedIn ID. Now what I'm doing is like, I will open this company LinkedIn uh, company profile ID. So once I open, I have a chance to see some information about this company, like uh, uh, private capital and private equity principles industry, location, London. So now I'm going to click people. So if we click people, then we can have a chance to view this company employees. So after clicking people, we need to figure out this company decision makers actually. So what I'm doing is I need to find out this company decision maker. So I'm just uh, viewing all these profiles. Partner, partner and all. Partner, see general partner, general partner. So CEO, co-founder. So we might need a co-founder profile. We will view more profiles. Maybe we can have a chance to get more. See here we have co-founder profile. See, he might be our particular target. See what we need to do is we are going to collect his information. We have here co-founder information. So whatever if if uh, CEO or founder information is not available, we need to. Uh, find out next decision maker next top decision maker so i feel like co-founder is the next top decision maker so that's why i'm going to collect this information so what i'm doing is i'm collecting all this information for example i collected this linkedin id okay i'm collecting his name and job role and all Uh, his name is Robin and his job role is co-founder. Co-founder. Now we need to find out his email ID. So now we are going to use some email finding tools. I have subscribed a lot of tools because I do a lot of uh, different kind of works, B2B lead generation work regularly. So you don't need this many tools actually. I have Tomba, I have Find That Lead, uh, I have uh, Apollo, Sales Square, Lead Leaper, and many tools I have. So you don't need this many tools, but uh, why I'm using this many tools is, uh, so I have used a lot of tools, but uh, one tool is best for finding one profile email ID and one tool is best for finding one profile email ID. That's why I make sure I'm using these many tools because I do a lot of work. See, now we need to find out this person email ID. So here, I'm just clicking on sales field. Now we have a chance to see his, okay, his email ID. Now I'm just copying this. Make sure I need to check this is a valid email ID or not. So because this is very important actually. That's why I'm checking. Uh, I use the uh, clear out for email verification. So here I'm checking whether, yes, this is valid email ID. Now I'm collecting this profile email ID. Now I can consider this is the right email ID. So this is how I collect investment companies decision makers. This is manual work. We can have a chance to automate also this one. 
So now I have collected LinkedIn URL and all. So now if we need more, more employees from this company, we need to reach out for more employees. So we can have a chance to collect more uh, decision makers for more employees. So now due to the time duration, I'm just collecting only one here. We can collect whatever we want actually, how many we want. Now we are going to collect second company. So same process, I'm going to click second company LinkedIn URL. Once I click LinkedIn URL, if you have LinkedIn sales navigator, that is more advantage because using this, this many tools, uh, sometimes our account will get blocked. So make sure if you have LinkedIn sales navigator, that would be more good. So I'm clicking people. So because make sure we need to find out right people. So I've opened this company. The, this is also based on London, venture capitalist and private equity principal industry. Now we need this company decision maker. I'm just scrolling down. Just scrolling down. Okay. okay. See here, I'm, I'm viewing all these profiles. Robert. See, based on these profiles here, we need to find out. So managing partner and CEO for this company. So this is the perfect profile for reaching out. No, earlier company, we, we, have, we don't have a chance to see a uh, direct CEO there. That's why I pick up second decision maker co-founder. So now here we have direct CEO profile here. So what I'm doing is I'm collecting this information. Name, job role, CEO, managing partner and CEO. Now we need to find out email ID. So what I'm gonna do is So here I'm using sales quill. So using sales quill, I have a chance to see his email ID. See, I can't say which one is best email finding tool because a uh, lot of times, lot of uh, tools help me in different ways actually. So that's why I prefer many tools to use. Okay, this is valid one. No, I'm picking up this email ID. So now I use this email ID. Make sure we need to check email ID is verified or not. So this is how I can have a chance to collect. We can have a chance to collect decision makers information. Now how it is, I can't say it is easy, but uh, uh, if you can follow this process, it might one not for one or two times for collecting up to 10 to 20 profiles, it might be difficult for, because of understanding uh, which profile we need to pick up or which profile uh, uh, like we can't pick up like uh, these all confusions might be there but if you can work on 10 to uh, 20 profiles then you will have a chance to easily understand this requires some some basic uh, research knowledge and basic skills to use uh, these tools and all so if you are looking for this kind of information you can directly reach out to me you don't need to do all this work so I will do automate all these systems process and all so I will provide you your targeted uh, investors information. So you can directly reach out to me, whatever the information you need, I will provide you that information. So here I'm mentioning, as I said, I'm mentioning my contact details. You can directly contact me through WhatsApp or other social media accounts. So here I have, I will explain uh, once again. So I use crunchbase.com for all exporting all these contacts. So I use LinkedIn ID, LinkedIn, prof LinkedIn company profile for finding right company decision makers. Then I use email finding tools like uh, sameless.ai, we have lead labor, we have sales quill, we have Apollo, we have. So I can't uh, suggest particular one because sometimes one tool is best and sometimes one tool is best. So this is the process guys. Hopefully you will get some knowledge about how we can have a chance to collect targeted investors and uh, targeted uh, companies, in investment companies information. As I said, you can reach out to me if you need any more information. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and keep watching my videos. Thank you.